Hello friends, this video on heat part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So what is temperature? Temperature is the measure of hotness or coldness of an object. So this temperature can precisely tell us how hot an object is. So like in case of body temperatures, we were talking in terms of degrees, 100 degree, 98 degree. So if it is 100 degree, it is, it is like more hot than something which is at 98 degree. So using the values of temperature, we can actually decide which object is how much hot and which object is how much cold. So now let us take the same example when we discuss about temperature. So the thermometer measures your temperature which might come around 101 degrees when you are having fever but it will be somewhere around 98 degree when you are normal, when you do not have any fever. Now since this value is greater than this value so we see that this object or this person is hotter than this person. So that's how the concept of temperature works. So it works not only with human beings but with various objects. Now we can use the same concept of temperature to measure how hot the cup of coffee was and how hot the pan containing boiling water was. So using this you can also say that if you compare a hot cup of coffee and a bottle of cold drink. So which one is hotter? So the cup of coffee is hotter. That means the temperature of this cup of coffee will be more. So the temperature of this cup of coffee will be more and the temperature of this bottle of cold drink will be less. So let us see how do we measure temperatures of various objects. Now when you compare the same examples where you have a boiling water, when you have a hot coffee cup, you have a glass of water, you have ice cream. So if, if you now try comparing this, so relatively we can say which object is more hot and which object is less hot. For example, we can say that this cup of coffee is hot. So it has got higher temperature, right? So if we can say that the temperature of this glass of water is going to be less than the temperature of this hot cup of coffee. So let us say the temperature of this glass of water is T2. Let us say the temperature of this cup of coffee is T1. Temperature of the ice cream is T3. Temperature of the pan containing boiling water is T4. So just to uh, tell you that how we say that relatively which object is hotter than the other object. So in this case you can say that T4 is greater than T1 because this temperature it is more hot. So T4 is greater than T1 which is greater than T2 and T2 is greater than T3. So this is how knowing the temperature we can actually tell the hotness or coldness of an object. Now if you talk about a burning candle. So this flame of the candle it is going to be extremely hot. Correct? So this candle is going to be even hotter than this. So if, if it is T5 then we will say that T5 is even greater than T4. Similarly if you try to compare the temperatures at night and during the day. So what do you find? The temperature at night. So if the temperature at night is denoted by Tn and temperature during the day is Td then you can say that temperature during the day is more than temperature at night. That is why nights are cooler as compared to days. So this is how if you know the temperature you can actually measure the hotness or coldness of objects. Now the question is how do we measure temperature? How exactly do we do that? So how do we measure temperature? Now we already saw that we make use of thermometer when we fall ill. So thermometer helps to measure our body temperature. Not only body temperature, we have different types of thermometer to measure the temperatures of different objects. Now if you have ever heard your mom or other people talking about the temperature of body when they measure it we using a thermometer what do you get to know that okay when the normal temperature of your body when you are not having any fever it is somewhere around 98 degrees when you are down with fever that times the temperature rises up to say 101 degrees or 102 degrees or even 103 or 104 degrees as well so that's how the temperature is when you are having fever 
Now, if you see your textbooks or uh, if you have seen it in somewhere written in the uh, newspaper or something that the temperature of boiling water is around 100 degrees. Now, if you compare these values, what do you see? That the temperature of our body when we have fever is more than the temperature of boiling water. Isn't that absurd? Because when water boils, the pan becomes so hot that we are not even able to touch it with our hands, right? We immediately take our hand back. And if we try to touch it, we might even burn our fingers. So it is that hot. Now, if I say the temperature of our body is even hotter than that, does that mean that when we have fever, so I mean our body is becoming that hot that nobody else if, can touch our body? If somebody else tries to touch us, he or she will get burnt? Not really, right? Even though our body becomes hot when we are down with fever, but it doesn't become that hot as well. So where is the gap? So why do people say that the person or the boy has 101 degree fever, 102 degree fever and also why do they say that the temperature of boiling water is 100 degrees? So then both the, degree, both the values are same. So where is the gap? So the confusion lies in the fact that there are different scales to measure temperature like how you have different units to measure distance for example if i tell you 10 meters and if i tell you 10 kilometers so there is a huge difference between the two because one i mean one kilometer is equal to thousand meters so if i say that uh, somebody has traveled 10 meters and somebody has traveled 10 kilometers even though the values are same same but the units are different so actually the actual amount is a lot different because 10 meters is 10 meters but 10 kilometers is one kilometer is equal to thousand meters so basically this is ten thousand meters so there is a huge difference between these two. Now why do we have these difference between they because they are expressed in different units. So in a similar way to measure temperature also there are different scales which exist. Now when we talk about the scales which are used to measure temperature normally there are three scales which are used Celsius scale, Fahrenheit scale and Kelvin scale. Now if I explain or if I describe it in more detail so the temperature of boiling water is measured in the Celsius scale that is it is 100 degrees Celsius but when we are talking about our body temperatures it is in the Fahrenheit scale. So that is why this temperature is 101 degree Fahrenheit which is a lot less than that of the Celsius scale. So there for there exists a lot of different scales in which the temperature can be measured. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.